everyone. We're going to be doing a arms and abs workout today. So jump into something comfortable. Today I'm going to be using a chair to help me with some of these exercises. And I have a mat. You don't have to have a mat. You don't have to have a chair. It's up to you, okay? So this is a home exercise. It's going to be quick. It's going to be fun. And um, we're going to just work on getting rid of flabby arms and toning a flabby tummy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start today just stretching out the wrist. So go ahead and take the fingertips towards the body and stretch it out. Stretch out your forearms and then flip the palms facing the other way. I know as I first got involved with fitness, my wrists were usually the ones to kind of feel, you know, achy or pain. And it wasn't until I built up the strength in my wrists that I was able to get over that. So just make sure you stretch it out. And then we're going to go ahead and just wake up the core. So we're going to do a couple cat half cows. It's a little yoga position we use to just bring awareness and energy to the body and stretch out through the spine. So inhale, drop your tailbone down, lift your collarbones up, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, pull your tailbone down, round your back like you're an angry cat. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, round through the back. One more time like that. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. And then let's just do a couple push-ups to warm up. The upper body. So we're going to stay on our knees for this. Just go ahead and lower your chest to the ground and then press yourself up. So we are working arms and abs today. We're going to be working push-ups quite a bit. It is my favorite body, total body exercise. You can do it anywhere, anytime, whether you have a gym or not. They're fantastic. And one more release, relax. Drop your hips back and feel a good stretch through your upper body here in child's pose. So let's go through a couple tips on push-ups so that way you know what is appropriate for you as you go through this workout and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you are new to push-ups or you do not have the strength to stay on your toes, then the option is to come to your knees. Now a couple things. Very, very beginner. You can practice exercising um, push-ups and getting some upper body strength by staying like this in all fours. Now, this does not require as much strength as a push-up where you drop those hips and your body comes into a flat plank leg -like position, okay? So if you are doing these push-ups on your um, knees, make sure you uh, change that level based on where you are right now. If you are a beast and you have advanced and mastered push-ups on your toes, go ahead and join me. This is actually where I'm going to be doing these exercises. I'll be sure to give you options as we go along. All right, our first exercise is going to be just push-ups, okay? We're going to go for 45 seconds of work and then we're going to take a rest. And we're going to alternate between arms and abs so you'll have a little bit of a break in between each. So you decide your push-ups, if you're on your knees, are here for 45 seconds, or on your toes, or if you're ready for a challenge, you can always bring your toes up onto the chair and practice them here, okay? First exercise, let's go ahead and give it all you got. I lied, we're going to do 40 seconds on because this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So 40, 40 seconds on and you're going to get a nice break. And I'll introduce the next exercise. Ready, set, let's go. Now while you do push-ups, make sure that you're not diving your head forward and bobbing like this, like you're bobbing for apples. Instead, you want to make sure you're pressing through your palms, you're activating the chest. So actually, think about squeezing your palms towards each other, and that's going to create this press and lift. So you're working into the chest, triceps, 
and even shoulders with these push-ups. All right, 40 seconds is done. Just like that time it goes by so fast. <laughs> Our second exercise is going to be planks. And in our plank pose, we're going to be doing some uh, different things, raising arms and raising legs. So just pay attention to my cues and you'll be fine. So just a regular, regular plank. If you have a difficulty with plank and you don't have the strength yet, you can always perform them on your knees like this. All right, second exercise. Let's get started. So we have 40 seconds in plank. I want you to start by bringing your left arm forward. And all I just want you to do is lift that left arm, set it back down to the ground. Lift and set. Lift and set. Right arm, lift and set. Lift and set. Lift and set. Left leg, lift it, drop it down. And right leg, lift it. Great job, relax. Just holding yourself in that position is working the upper body, lower body, and core. Our next exercise is going to, of course, involve push-ups again. So working into the pec minor, so it's just another muscle in the chest, but it's going to actually kind of work out here a little bit more. So if you find that pudginess right in that region, we're going to help build some muscle. And so you're going to take your arms out a little bit wider than you're used to doing a push-up, okay? So a nice wide push-up here, okay? You're going to do three push-ups and three mountain climbers. So it's going to look like this. Three, two, one. You're going to climb it up. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's do this. Nice and wide with the hands. Now options. If you're on your knees, you're going to do the same thing. And when it's time to do your mountain climbers, just bring your weight to your toes. If not, you're in that beast mode, and you're just gonna crank it out and stay up on your toes the whole time. Five seconds. Exercise, we're going to practice coming from plank on our elbows to coming right up to our hands. So, if you want to use a chair here, you're welcome to do so. Pressing yourself up onto the chair and lowering yourself back down, alternating sides. Or you can skip the chair altogether and do this exercise on your elbows. Varying levels, of course, you're welcome to do this exercise on your knees as well. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Rest. You made it. Have a seat.
Nice move for the core. We're going to sit back, draw your belly button into your spine so you're holding this tight. You're not rounding, okay? Whew. So holding yourself up, chest lifts toward the sky. We're just going to lift one leg and then the other. Okay, now your choice. You can lift both legs at the same time. And drop one leg down like this. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Like this, okay? So scissor. You decide. Now, if you start feeling pulling in your lower back, I want you to take it to an easier level. So then switch to one leg than the other. Because this really shouldn't feel like painful in your lower back at all. You should feel that your abs are on fire. You actually might even feel that the front of the legs are feeling it as well. Let's get this started. So you decide the choice is here or here. Relax. Whew. All right, that's our first round. Great job. We're going to go through those same exercises one more time, starting with push-ups, okay? Do your best to get through as many reps as you can in this final round. I'm going to give you a couple more minutes, or a couple more seconds to uh, take a moment, grab some water, whatever else you need to do. <laughs> And I'm going to take this as an opportunity to talk to you about um, getting results that you want. So it doesn't just happen from this one 12 minute video, right? You have to maintain consistency to get results and also be very aware of what you're feeding your body. So if you're planning on this 12 minute workout being the magical fix, it's not going to work, okay? You have to be sure that you're including lots of water, rest time, in addition, eating a diet loaded in fiber, fruits and vegetables. Just eat as many as you can every day. It's great for you. Now, fruits do not include canned fruits, um, dried fruits, or um, fruit juices, okay? That is not what I'm calling fruit. I'm, call it, I'm calling an apple fruit, I'm calling a banana fruit, the um, fruit in its whole is what you really want. And the same thing goes for vegetables, so eat the whole vegetable and you will start to see amazing differences in your energy level and help with weight loss and um, your overall health in general, digestive health and mental clarity. So I encourage you to eat a diet loaded in vitamins and nutrients and fiber. Okay, that's my spiel for you. Let's get back to it, okay? Our first exercise is push-ups, just straight push-ups for 40 seconds. You decide how you wanna do this, knees, toes, um, or on a chair, it's up to you. Now, if the first round was easy, and by 40 seconds you're like, Carly, that was so easy, then I encourage you to make it a little bit harder for yourself. I'm not sitting here just doing them on my knees, just to get through this workout. I'm bringing it to the next level and I expect you to do the same thing. So let's get started. Awesome job, relax. Ooh, that feels good. You should feel, oh, your chest 
and your triceps and your shoulders. Core is definitely activated as we do those push-ups as well. So really tighten through the stomach, squeeze those glutes. Total body, I'm telling you. All right, second exercise, planks. And remember, we're adding some fun stuff. So just make sure you stay tuned and listen in. Let's go. So let's go ahead and lift the right arm towards the front of you and then set it down. And I want you to lift the left leg, set it down. Left arm, set, left leg, set. Left arm, set, left leg, set. Right arm, set it down. Left leg, right leg, set it down. Right arm, right leg. Right arm, right leg. All right, hold, squeeze, activate your muscles. Drag your belly button in your spine and release. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, our next exercise, you can decide to use the chair or not. We're in plank. You're pressing yourself up onto all fours and lowering back down. So it's a high and a low plank. Let's get started. I decided to skip the chair because it keeps sliding. And I don't really want to go flying forward, so you can decide what works better for you. As you do these exercises, I want you to try to hold your tummy tight. If you don't, then you're going to be flapping around like this. Okay? No. Instead, squeeze your glutes. Draw your belly button up. And relax. Two more exercises. Alright, the next one is a wide push-up. So, take your arms outside your chest. And then we're going to add those three mountain climbers in between each set of three. Ready, set, let's go. And rest. Oh. oh, how are you feeling? One more exercise, 40 seconds. I bet you your arms are feeling a little bit fatigued right now. They should be. Mine definitely are. Okay, so scissor legs, you decide how you want to do it. Both legs up or one leg up at a time. Listen to your body, but don't, don't whip out. <laughs> it's such a fine line, okay? So if it's like an ow pain, like you pulled something, then it's not, it's not a good idea to keep pushing it. But if you feel a little bit of a burn, yeah, welcome that heat. Keep going with it. Ready, set, let's go. Great. 
definitely feel the core, but also those hip flexors. Oh man. So that is the end of today's workout. We're going to do a couple stretches just to cool down. So go ahead and take your arms back behind you and really think of lifting the chest, lifting the collarbones forward, forward and upward. A small like postural change you can make every day to like make you look thinner, happier, more confident. I don't know how I'm doing this, but just lift your collarbones up and just doing this small change is, makes a huge difference in how you'll carry yourself throughout the day. Hmm. Take one arm over the other. You're going to feel a good stretch through the back of the arm, through the shoulder, and switch sides. Oh, that feels good. Stick to all fours. Just bring those hips forward and then to each side, massaging through the front of the hips. You can actually just lower right down to your belly, pressing up into a upward facing dog. It's going to stretch the whole front side body. Oh, that feels good. Press yourself up and back. We're going to finish in child's pose. So take your fingers, creep them further away from your body, reaching for the wall in front of you. Come up on your fingertips. You'll we'll actually feel a stretch through your back. And come on, roll up one vertebra at a time. Roll those shoulder blades back. Whew, you're finished. If you need a little bit more workout, repeat that same um, a series of exercises, those five exercises one more time, or two more times if you have it in you. It's completely up to you. If you're still working on building that up, it was super challenging for you to get through all five exercises two times. You can always build up to uh, reaching that full workout by just doing one set and then repeating it later down the road. Um, pairing this exercise programs uh, building muscle is so important for shedding fat. So doing cardio hours and hours every day isn't going to get the results that you want. Every time you build a pound of muscle, you actually burn more calories throughout the day. And it's not just when you're on the mat. So know that every time you take time and you add in strength training to your program, you're going to continue to burn calories as you go throughout your day, which is just great for getting those results that you really want. If you have questions about exercise, fitness, or nutrition, please reach out to me. Leave a comment below. If you like this workout, click the subscribe button, the little bell notification, and the like button. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.